So we're on our fifth wine and our third red. All the reds today are very, very light. The last sampler case had very big reds and we've gone for very light and we've gone for two onto a screw tap, screw top, not screw tap, um, which creates its own little problem. So um, we're in New Zealand. We're in New Zealand, yes. So we're in Gisborne, um, which is a region right at the top. Top north. Top right top of, the, of yeah. the Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, their husband and wife team, James and Annie Milton, they've been making wine for a long time there. And they are really well known in New Zealand, quite a serious producer. Uh, they were the first winery to be certified biodynamic and organic in New Zealand. Yeah, I'm not going to get into biodynamic because no. yes, we've done that before. We've done that before. Yeah, we make the wine by the cycle of the moon. Should we be drinking yeah. the wine by the cycle of the moon? I know Margot. Margot loves this that. though. Bio oh, <laughs> I always. I they must believe. So you know, you had to stop that. Stop spitting. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But I need to work. But um, so in this one, it's more fruity aromas like strawberry, mm. cherry, and it's very light because you can taste the tannin. Mm. But it's, yeah, it's very, very, yeah, very light. It's, yeah. it's, it's interesting. That the first word you use is fruit, but it's not the first word that I don't. Yeah, it, it feels like a very grown up. You said something a bit style. gamey before. I think you said it was. You, it yeah, was when you we open it, uh, it smells a bit gamey. But yeah, yeah, possibly a yeah. more savory. This is a wine that uh, is quite grown up, it's very elegant. It feels a little old fashioned burgundy style red mm. wine. Yeah, James definitely looks to the old world mm. for his, his style of winemaking, so he's not trying to be too new and modern, he's really trying to do things classic. And really. tell us about how he introduces new customers and there's a story about his cows. James loves his cows. Uh, not talking about biodynamics, we won't go into that, but um, basically it's all about the health of his vineyards and the biodiversity of the soil. And so he has cows in the vineyards, um, which he loves a lot, and he will uh, introduce the prospective clients to his cows to decide whether or not he should be selling his wines to them, which is yeah. a strange way of doing business. I'm thinking of introducing this policy at the restaurant, that all new bookings will have to be introduced to my cows. Um, work <laughs> in progress. <laughs> Cheers.